Overpowered and outmatched, the Warriors admit Wisconsin was the better team last night. Hawaii was dominated in every phase of the game from the beginning to the end, and the end was hard. A four-game win streak with bowl hopes and senior night riding on a better performance. The pen and paper was snatched from the hands of the Warriors, and the fairy tale ending was written by the Badgers. After having a pretty good night against one of the best rushing teams in the country and Navy the week prior, the Warriors felt confident in the game plan against Wisconsin. It was simply stop the run. But Hawaii got a physics lesson Saturday. Mass plus speed equals seven rushing touchdowns by the Badgers offense. Three of them were provided by 248-pound running back John Clay. He got the scoring started in the first quarter, kept it going in the second, and wanted another in the third. Clay amassed 172 yards on the ground in 24 carries and a career-tying three scores. 16 total this season. You got to give credit to his O line. His O line is good. I think their schemes is perfect for their run, but I think um, there's a lot of bad foot position that we put ourselves into that gave us that um, those those bad plays. I think that uh, we just got to look at the tape and hopefully uh, the young guys can learn from this game. Hawaii's offense was shut down, coming in as the third best passing offense in the nation, averaging over 340 yards a game. The Badgers held Hawaii to its lowest total of the season, just 197. Hawaii only rushed the ball for 17 yards, the fewest allowed by the Badgers this season, and the Warriors allowed Bryant Moniz to be sacked six times. The only highlight came in the fourth quarter, as Moniz tossed a three-yard touchdown pass to Javante Taylor. Hawaii ends the season with a losing record, 6-7, and seven, with a 51-10 loss to Wisconsin. We were just out of sync, and I'm, I'm really surprised. We had excellent, we had excellent practices. The guys were jacked up. And I, I just think we got beat by a better team. We just couldn't get into a rhythm, and it really hurt us. You know, our defense is on the field long, and we just were never on the field that long, and we could never get anything started. It's sad, you know. The, the dream ends here, and uh, I mean, uh, we've got life to live, uh, focus on now, and I mean, uh, it sucks, but. That's, that's the thing that um, comes when you know, show up to play. A tough way to end a career for 24 seniors, but it was a memorable run and the honor of being a warrior that they'll take with them. Man, you just got to go out with uh, the good memories, I guess. You know, I'm always going to love this program and everybody that did everything for me and all these fans. You know, can never ever replace these kind of moments. You know, it's the only place in the world like this, Hawaii, and uh, now, you know, I'm the senior doing the walk, and it's pretty sad. I'm going to miss it, and um, you know, I'm going to really miss it. How's it going, everybody? Well, your football team's bold dreams were busted last night by the Badgers of Wisconsin, ending Hawaii's 2009 campaign at 6-7, and seven, just the second losing season in eight years for the Green and White. Big Ten Player of the Year running back John Clay lived up to the hype. Sophomore broke off 173 yards rushing and three touchdowns on the evening. As a team, Wisconsin posted 554 yards of total offense, 301 of those coming on the ground with seven rushing touchdowns. In the loss for U8, sophomore quarterback Bryant Moniz threw two interceptions, got sacked a season high. 51 to 10, the final, a tough way to go out for 24 Warrior seniors. I actually cried. Uh, got emotional. I, I, I never do, you know. But this is uh, this is what you know. What I mean, it's all being a warrior comes to an end right here, and it really hit me. All good things must come to an end. I think. Uh, hopefully, we show um, some of the younger generations um, good worth e ethics, and they can just come back and bounce back from that. When it's done, it's done. So I'm um, just thankful for the support, you know, the love and aloha that the fans have shown, and it's just been. An, a great adventure. So what does it mean to you to be a warrior? Oh, I mean, um, when times is when times is tough, you stand up like a man. You know, you try to rise to occasion. That's what I felt. You know, no matter how hurt you are, or, or how wounded, or whatever it is, you never give up. You never quit. You never back down. Here's a look at the 2009 statistical leader, sophomore Brian Moniz, with nearly 2,400 yards passing in 10 games. Leon Wright Jackson ended his career with seven senior year scores. Greg Salas, just three catches and 124 yards shy of a single season school records. And the heart and soul of this team, Blaze Swartz, Kani Boy, a team high 107 tackles. And the countdown begins. Kickoff to the 2010 Warrior football season, just 238 days away, people, with a Thursday night matchup in Halaba against the Trojans of US. SC on September 2nd. This handle snap, but gets it away. Bass gets free. Five. End zone. Touchdown, Miami.
Career day in the NFL for former Warrior All-American Devon Best in Miami's upset victory over the Patriots today in South Beach. Second-year receiver recorded a career-high 10 catches for 117 yards and one touchdown. The second score of his career, first of the season, Dan Car Carpenter hit a game-winning field goal with one minute remaining, 22-21 the final. Dolphins at 6-6, six six, now just one game back in New England in the AFC East.